The season opens around the league Tuesday night, and then Wednesday it opens for the Indiana Pacers, but just exactly what they will look like Wednesday night is still very much up in the air. Practice this weekend. The Pacers working out on the practice court and sitting and watching were David West and George Hill. West has the right ankle injury. Hill has a knee injury. Had an MRI on it. There's a chance. The only returning starter from last year's team that will be on the floor Wednesday will be Roy Hibbert. Think about that. Had the chance to sit down with one of the newest Pacers, Rodney Stuckey. Dude lost a front tooth a couple seasons ago. But he says he would not miss an opportunity to join the Blue and Gold. It seems like everyone with the Pacers has something going on. Uh, George Hill's got the knee. David West he has an ankle. Rodney, you've got something too, right? Yeah, it's my foot. You know, it's been bothering me a little bit, but, uh, you know, just uh, been rehabbing it, and, you know, it's getting better. Ready to go opening week here in the NBA. I think you'll be there on Wednesday? Oh, yeah. You know, if, you know, if all things go well, you know, if I get cleared and stuff like that, you know, but it's just day by day. You want to be there, right? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, definitely want to be out there competing with my teammates, but, um, it's all up to, you know, the doctors and what they say and making sure that I'm 100% before I go out there and uh, start playing. It's funny. You go back to uh, when you came to the Pacers originally, the roster uh, looks completely different. And, and, namely, one number 13 out there is not going to be. What, what has it been like this preseason? I mean, he's been out here. He's been shooting the ball. He looks pretty darn good yeah. out there. Uh, what's it been like here? Uh, it's been good, you know, just getting acclimated to my teammates and the coaching staff. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, we don't we don't have Paul George, but, you know, coaches has been emphasizing of, you know, just sharing the ball, moving the ball and, you know, playing off each other and playing with each other this year, you know, because yeah. that's what we're going to need to do. You know, all of us are going to have to, you know, share the ball and, you know, not not have the ball stick to one person, but just keep moving and, and cutting and stuff like that. And we should be fine. In many ways, there's been a lot of talk that this might be a better defensive unit than, than last year. How Defensively, how do you guys look right now? Uh, you know, we're still a work in progress, sure. you know, I think. Think, you know, everybody each, is right yeah, now. Absolutely. You know, yeah. yeah. Each and every day, you know, you can come in the gym and get better. But uh, just a work in progress. You know, um, there's a lot of things defensively that we can get better at. And uh, we will, you know, as time goes on, you know. But, um, you know, we're excited where we're at right now. After several years in Detroit, what were your expectations? And what are your expectations with this team right now? I mean, is this a playoff team still? Or Oh, yeah, absolutely. You yeah. know, we can't change our mindset just because we have guys out or whatnot. You know, um, mindset is always playoffs. You know, yeah. that's what that's what we play for, you know, each and every year is uh, to get back to the postseason. And uh, that's one of the main reasons why I came here is because, you know, the – you know, the, you know them, them getting back to the Eastern Conference sure. Finals, you know, the last two years or whatnot. And, uh, you know, I was excited to play with George, Paul George and Roy and George Hill and David West and all those guys. And, you know, I'm still going to play with them. It's just going to be some time, <laughs> though. But, um, you know, just 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 some stability that I needed. And, uh, you know, I thought this was the right place. In what way? I mean, Detroit. The Pistons aren't quite the organization that they were, certainly uh, when I was growing up as a, as a kid. But uh, it just seems like it's a different culture here for you, Patriots. Um, well, you know, like I said, it's just stability. Um, you know, just uh, you know, it's tough. You know, yeah. playing for six coaches in seven years and. You know, just a lot of dysfunctional stuff. But, um, you know, that's all in the past, though. To have a coach and a president with this club that's been here for a while. Oh, uh, yeah. You can probably, you can tell the difference. Absolutely. Here. You know, uh, just a lot more structure and, you know, things are just, you know, just a lot more organized and stuff right. like that. And uh, it's been going well. All right. Uh, last thing, it's Halloween season. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, Halloween candy. I'm a big Laffy Taffy guy or uh, gummy bears. Gummy know? bears. Yeah. So uh, that's me. <laughs> that's <laughs> Hard-hitting questions here on Sunday Sports Sector. That's okay. Great, great to see you, man. Too. Good luck this season. Thank okay. you, man.